Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric with Fisher Drumming. I have a short lesson for you today. It's gonna be on a 16th note linear fill. It's a very practical and musical fill that you can use in a lot of settings, so I think it's gonna be useful for you. And I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today, so let's jump right in. Okay, so let me set the table for you guys. We're counting four, four time. This fill is one measure long and it's 16th notes. So we have 16 notes to work with and we're gonna split it up into three different sections. That's gonna be the easiest way for you to digest it and for me to explain it. And actually we have six, six, four, okay? And those six note groupings are actually gonna be repeated, okay? The same sticking is being repeated so it's very easy to remember. So let's just start with the first six grouping, okay? That's gonna be right, left, left, right, left, kick. Okay, right, left, left, right, left, kick. Now we wanna clarify how we're gonna articulate those notes and how we're gonna orchestrate those notes on the kit. We have the sticking down. Now we wanna talk about how we should play those notes. Very simple, we're gonna accent the right hands. So there's two right hands, right? Right, left, left, right, left, kick. Now those right hands are gonna be played loud. We wanna have those accented. The first right hand's gonna be on the snare, the second of the right hand is going to be on the rack tom, okay? Now the left hands are all gonna be ghost noted. Very simple, right? Right hands accented, left hands ghost noted. So all of those left hands keep nice and low and they're actually all gonna be played on the snare, okay? So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna voice it as I play it so you can see what I mean. We got right, left, left, right, left, kick, okay? Right, left, left, right, left, kick. Now, the great thing is the second set of six notes, remember we're repeating the same sticking, right? All we're doing is changing one note of, on the orchestration. Instead of playing our, our second right hand up here on the tom, we're gonna play that second right hand here on the floor tom, okay? So just one note's changing between the first grouping and the second. We got right, left, left, right, left, kick, and then we got right, left, left, right, left, kick. All right, now let's stop, let's play that only, okay, to a click, nice and slow so you can get familiar with it, and then we'll speed it up a little bit, and we'll loop it a few times so you can get familiar with that, um, and get that in your head and start feeling that groove, okay? Okay, now it's all gonna come together right here at the end as we add these last four notes. These last four notes, super simple. We got right, left, right, kick. And the way we're gonna orchestrate that is just right on the snare, left on the rack tom, right on the floor tom, kick, and then crash it. So we got that good da da bam And then we'll groove, a couple measures, then go back into that fill. Okay, so we'll start the BPM slow and then we'll speed it up a little bit and put this whole thing together and stick around to the end because I want to give you another tip about this.
So as you can see, this is a pretty cool fill, and it's not too complicated. It's just a matter of executing it properly, right? We want our right hands to cut through, and we want our left hands to be really ghosted. That way you have that nice flow to it, okay? That's where the feeling is gonna come from. And another tip I have about this is, you can change those last four notes. You don't have to play it, da, 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 boom. You know, one way you can make this a little bit different is to start messing with those last four notes. You know, change the subdivision, um, change the orchestration on those last four notes. So if you guys like this linear fill and you wanna see more short to the point lessons like this, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, your feedback's important so I can continue to come out with more lessons uh, geared towards my subscribers' needs. And also guys, um, if you want more linear lessons in general, some very specific lessons, exercises, whether it's linear fills and linear grooves, then you wanna go to my course, the description, uh, the link is in the description below. The Linear Drumming Bootcamp course is 10 lessons that are gonna go over key exercises, concepts, fills and grooves, practical things that you can use, um, and things that are gonna stretch you and help you grow learning how to use these linear concepts in different subdivisions, okay? So thanks for joining me again on this lesson, guys. Hope you got something good out of it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and have fun.